Hi, I'm down in the dungeon again, uh, looking at these lights, which you've seen in a uh, pre the wiring of these in a uh, previous uh, video. These are the original lights that are uh, wired in here to the dungeon, and uh, I've now got them. Uh, uh, the that silly uh, uh, remote control thing that's actually been removed, and the regular fittings um, still there, and the I've got uh, two older um, LED lights in here and I thought I would replace them with a higher output. So the ones I've got at the moment, they're an 18 watt jobby, so there's two of them uh, there in each of these uh, battens and they're 18, nominal 18 watts each and I think these ones are about 2000 lumens and these are actually uh, tri-colour ones. They're currently set to uh, 5000 Kelvin and uh, colour temperature and that's what my camera's uh, currently set to, I think. Hang on. Actually, I wasn't sure if my camera's actually set to 5000 and now I had to... I forget how to do it because in my lab all my uh, lights on the roof are color matched to 5000 uh, Kelvin and I've also got 5000 Kelvin uh, wall panels over here and I can uh, well switch those on there you go um, so I've got a whole bunch of those I've got six of those down in here and if I want serious light in here I turn those on but these are just my uh, general ones I turn on when I'm just generally working here and I'm not doing anything uh, your series come, coming in and out. But these things are only about 2,000 lumens. Now you can actually get, and I have got now, uh, 30, supposedly 3,300 lumen T8 uh, re replacement for these ones. So I'm going to plug those in and see what difference they make. But um, yeah, I'm going to have to do some, you can't tell by your Mark 1 eyeball. So I've got my light meter. So let's take some before measurements and then I'll uh, replace them so these I'll replace the 2000 lumen ones with the uh, 3300 lumen ones and uh, see what difference we get okay so just some random locations this one's uh, sitting kind of offset from the middle a bit more towards the back wall and we're getting about 150 lux there so none of this lumens rubbish will measure lux uh, because they're different measurement they're different measurement systems entirely but hey it gives us a uh, it will give us an absolute uh, difference so 150 lux here on top of my 3d printer here oh 135 lux oh that's pretty how you doing and here on the bench, it's going to be absolutely awful, 50 lux. So, but it is uh, covered by a big uh, brick pillar behind me. One of those battens is uh, almost entirely covered. So, yeah, 50 lux. That's pretty terrible. Like, if I'm doing, if I'm working on the bench, I turn the other lights on. Like, I can turn. Here we go. I'll switch them on. Whoa, there we go, 300. And that's a typical like office working. Uh, there are standards for this and like an office environment, I think is 300 lux minimum on the bench or something like that. So anyway, 360, but that's, that's pretty poor if just the battens are on, isn't it? Wow, 50 lux. And just lying on an empty shelf over here, 105 lux. That's pretty how you're doing. So let's change these things over. Now I'll see if I can show you the color difference, uh, color temperature difference here. They do actually have a switch on them, so I can switch. There we go. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if you're seeing that, but that's bright. That's uh, six thousand, and that's three thousand, and that's five thousand. I'll do that again with the exposure right down, and you're going to get some flickering. Sorry about that, but there you go. And so that's 6,000, 5,000, and 4,000 color temperature. And of course, I can turn them both down like that. But yeah, I do prefer the 5,000. I have standardized on that. Okay, so the ones I've got in here at the moment, these are these uh, tri-color ones. They're a cell jobby, uh, and they're 18 watt. There you go, uh, power factor uh, 0.9. There you go, they're actually 2,200 lumens at uh, 4,000. 4, Oh, it was 4,000, was it? Yes, yeah, sorry, I thought these were 5,000. No, they're only 4,000, so 3,000, 4,000, and 6,000. So it's another reason to upgrade, actually, is because they're, they'll be 5,000 instead of 4,000 to match my other lights. Uh, the color rendering index, just greater than 80, meh. Um, you know, <laughs> it's a bit how you're doing. And the, there you go, it's just got an adjustable switch, and all that will do is just turn on different, sorry, it's uh, diffuse, you can't see in there. Um, it's just got different color LEDs in there, and it switches some off and on. That's why you get your different uh, intensities um, because in you know, the different colors you turn more of them uh, on or whatever. So I'm going to replace them with these jobbies. Check this out. Look at these. These use um, 
Epistar LEDs, and I don't know the exact model of the Epistar uh, LED, but these are 25 watt uh, tubes, and you know, there's a lot of them in there. It's pretty chock full, so these aren't particularly uh, cheap. So these are, um, yeah, they're normally rated to 25 uh, watt. What else have we got? No, these ones aren't actually marked, but uh, trust me, these are uh, 5,000 Kelvin, uh, rated for 3,300 lumens, according to the uh, manufacturer. And these ones actually have an adjustable, look, you can adjust these like half a turn like that. So you can actually, because the, the, these have got an aluminium uh, backed here, so that's, you know, good and it's ribbed for uh, your pleasure. And that's what she said. And uh, yeah, so these will have greater heat dissipations, whereas these are just... You know, um, yeah, they're just enclosed up plastic. So these should be better from like a thermal point of view. And at a higher wattage, um, 25 watts, uh, yeah, you know, they're going to dissipate uh, more power. There's going to be more loss. So it's nice to have the rigid edge on the back of there and exposed. Not that, they're... oh no, there is some airflow in here. Uh, fresh air is actually being pumped into my dungeon continuously, uh, by the way. Anyway, uh, these just allow you to just adjust the angle inside the batten. So if you don't want them both coming down, you can have them like slayed out a bit. And I think I'll actually do that. So anyway, I'm going to install these and we'll redo the measurements. Okay, I've got them installed and well, yeah, maybe a little bit brighter, but as I said, your Mark 1 eyeball can't, you know, it, it has such a massive dynamic range. It's one of the, your eyeball is actually one of the highest dynamic range instruments um, in the world, basically. It's just incredible. I can't remember the dB dynamic range. It's just absolutely phenomenal. Anyway, um, yeah, it's hard for you to really discern a difference, but let's go to the videotape. 125 on the bench here. What was it before? It was like uh, 100, wasn't it? So 25% more, I think. And 70, let's call that 70 on the bench here. So it's once again, yeah, it's, you know, it's significantly better. It's still not, you know, it's not a massive difference. It's not double, but it's significant. And on top of the photocopier here, 270 lux. That's not too bad. And I do actually have them um, angled slightly, so they're like tilting outwards, so the spread is a bit more, because I've only got two of these inside this uh, 30 square metre space. And on top of my printer here, 220, what was that before? That was like 150 or something, wasn't it? I can't remember the exact figures anyway. <laughs> you know, you're watching the video. Um, there you go, so that's, that's quite a reasonable upgrade. But if I'm working in here, of course, I turn on all of my lights and there you go on the bench here, I've got like 400 lux, uh, which still isn't much. Up on like in the lab when I'm shooting video, I've got like 1500 lux on the bench uh, when I'm shooting videos on the bench there. And that doesn't include my like uh, flood fill lights that I've got either uh, side of me, which, you know, flood fill the front of uh, products, the front face and stuff like that, because all my lighting's on the roof, of course. So I've got some on the stands beside me that try and light it up. So trust me, light intensity matters when you're uh, shooting video, especially if you're trying to get good depth of field and stuff like that to avoid. Because uh, I'm running nine, I'm running a fixed F5.2 at the moment uh, with a game of nine um, so yeah once you get up to a gain of, I try to run mine with a gain of like three to six something like that once you get up to a gain of nine on your camera you start getting a little bit noisy in your image and stuff like that so yeah it's a trade-off between depth of field and uh, the uh, noise in your image so yeah, I think these are 3300 lumens. They're probably the highest output ones I can get. You can get high, I have seen higher output ones, but they cost like 150 bucks a tube or something. Like it's just like nutso uh, prices for them. Um, so these ones are relatively uh, cheap and I got uh, four for the price of three. So bargain. Um, and yeah, useful upgrade, extra 4,000 lumens down here. And of course that will really mostly only apply if I uh, just come in and I flick the light switch, I don't have to do the separate uh, lights for uh, the panels over there. And it's, yeah, seems a little bit brighter, but yeah, it's hard to tell with your eye, but yeah, the measurements don't lie. There you go, a simple upgrade, uh, significant. Now they're uh, color matched, so I've got uh, 5,000 uh, Kelvin all matched uh, down here, roughly, you know, give or take. Uh, which is good enough for Australia, um, instead of the 4,000 uh, ones that I had before, 
Um, and these are 3,300 lumens instead of uh, 2,200 lumens. So I had an extra. So I've got an extra 4,000 lumens down here just from those four lights. Although what I would love, because I don't want to have to change the battens up here, what would I would love? And leave it in the comments down below. Is there such a thing that converts like a double adapter that actually like juts out from the side that can convert one? T8 regular 1.2 meter, four foot for you Yanks, a uh, four foot uh, T8 uh, batten in there into two. So, you know, like, yeah, I've already got two in there, but if I could add like a, a double adapter thing that's came out and I could then put four fluoro tubes in there. I know you could just replace the whole batten, but you've seen the weird ass wiring I've got up there and everything. And I don't like to throw out the battens, they're perfectly fine. Um, but yeah, is there like a double adapter that you could actually plug in? I, I don't know. I mean, like, because I don't care about like them hanging down a bit more or the, the being ugly or whatever, but I don't think such a product exists, but I feel like it should. Anyway, leave it in the comments. Catch you next time.